Hello people, my name is Nkiru Sevanos. My name is Kenneth Okoli and you're watching Prime TV. Hello everyone and welcome to Prime TV. I am Jennifer John. Today I'm reaching you from the beautiful Oriental Hotel and the occasion is the launch of one of Nollywood's finest actresses, Inkiri Silvanas, who has decided to delve into production of movies. So today her first movie is launching, stroke premiering, and we're here to see how it all goes down. I don't know what to expect. She was a great actress, so pretty much my expectations are high. Lots of fabulous people have come out today to have fun, of course, see this movie, what it's all about. And I'm gonna bring it all to you, so stick with me and don't go away. Still with Jennifer John, Prime TV, keep it here. Hello viewers, my name is Stella Maris, and um, I'm here for the movie, The Voice, of which I have very, very high expectations from Kenneth Okoli, the actor, and Kiru Silvanas. Very high expectation. Yeah, my expectation is quite high because Kiru Silvanas has been a wonderful actress in the industry. And having the Kissel Entertainment and going into production, expectations are high because this is the new age where people expect a whole lot from film. So I'm here to see a wonderful film with wonderful cast and a good picture and sound. Well, we're very excited to be here on our first uh, launch of our being producing our own movie. So I've been saying all night, I don't think you can explain it. You must experience it. So we're excited. Cannot wait to view the, the voice. All right, Pips, it's still the launch of Inquiry Sivanas' movie. And very amazing people have come out today to have fun and of course see this movie and what's about. I have with me one of the honorable guests today, a very beautiful lady. How are you doing? I'm fine. Let's meet you. My name is Betty Njoko Olumawe. What does Betty do? I'm an actress. Yeah. Were you in this movie? Yes. Yeah. What role did you play? Um, the role of Lola, that's um, Sandy's best friend, played by Ankiru Savannah's. Lola is your everyday girl. She, does, she didn't believe in the fact that Sandy was going to die in 90 days. She thought it was all bohaha. So she's like, no, 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 no. She's your free girl. But at the end of the day, it turned out that she was all part of the scheme, you know. So that's the twist. I'm a little confused in the hair, so I'm, I really can't wait to see the movie to unravel this mystery. I like what you're wearing. Tell me about it. Um, this is Nita Craft, the dress. This is Chanel. <laughs> I just put one or two together and came up with this. Did you style yourself? Yes, I did. Really? How long did it take you? Uh, a few weeks of planning. <laughs> a few weeks of planning. Worked out great. Yeah. Okay, it worked out great. Thank yeah. you. So tell me about your experience on this project. Uh, it was smooth up until when she was kidnapped. And then it started. We thought it was going to go downhill. We were all confused. We were scared. But she came back. She's a really strong lady. She came back and she finished up the production. So, so you think you guys started filming before she got kidnapped? Yes. Because that was like a long time ago. Yeah, so we started filming first. Yeah, it took it took us about two years to complete this job. Oh my god, that's new for a Nigerian movie. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Big up, see you in Kiru. My name is Emma Jikos NNG. Okay. I'm a movie director. Every time a movie comes out, it's uh, everybody's expecting to see something wow and all that. But <laughs> I'm here to see the message that the movie carries. That I think that's that's my reason I'm here. If you look at the kind of jobs that have come out lately, you will see that it's quite on the high side, and people are expecting much more challenging jobs to come and match up with the ones you have out there. So I'm expecting a high-profile movie here. All right, people. The reason we're gathered here today at the beautiful Oriental Hotel is for Inkiri Sylvanas's movie launch, right? And guess who's here? Inkiri Sylvanas. Yeah. How do you feel? Happy? I feel good. I'm so happy. I'm How long did it take you to put this together? Well, um, the the voice has taken almost two years to be ready. Two years. Yes. I heard someone say this was right before you were kidnapped. It was, I was shooting, I was on set when it happened. Oh my God. Hmm. How did you feel like? Well, for me, it was um, a terrible experience. At some point I felt, oh, I won't be able to complete this movie because when you're with strangers, armed strangers, you'll be scared that you probably might not work out alive. Right. But God did it for me. I came out alive, strong and unharmed. So it was, it was, it was exciting for me. Wow. Very horrifying experience. Was that the only thing on your mind this movie? What else was on your mind while you were captured? Oh, while I was captured, I was thinking about my family, my friends, my dreams, yeah. and a whole lot, know. you know. But at that point, you, you, you just can't help it but keep praying and asking God, please, Father, help me. I want to come out of this alive. Yeah. 
happened? When it finally happened? When it happened, it was so exciting. Like, the day I was released, I could not believe it. So this is me. I'm going to take a shower for like almost five days. I couldn't take a shower and I couldn't even get myself cleaned up. So it was exciting for me. The first thing was, I need to take a fresh shower, like with cool, warm water and then have a good sleep. Yeah. You're glowing so much. You don't even look like you've ever been hurt or captured or anything. Well, I was able to move on. The ability for me to take everything behind mm -hmm. and then move on was was what strength of a woman. High five, high five, high five. Tell me about the voice. Well, the voice is a thriller. Is a suspense-filled movie. Mm -hmm. It's about a young girl who has tall dreams of who she wants to be and what she wants to do in life. And suddenly, she was thought she was gonna die. That's like. The whole dream, okay. the whole vision, mm. the whole passion for who she wants to be. And then she was giving predictions about things that will happen before her death. Okay. And they started unfolding before her. So it was certain, it was obvious that she was going to die. Wow. Well, let me not talk too much about that story. Yeah. So because I would want you to... Go in and see it, right? Mm -hmm. But real okay, quick, before you go, did you cry in this movie? Because that's like your trademark. Did you cry in this movie? Um, <laughs> not really, but... Um, I was I, I worked so hard to make sure that I bring out tears from the people so they cry for me this time. This time, right? Mm. What inspired this movie though? Well, first the ability to make a difference and the passion I have for the entertainment industry and the ability to be able to help in making um, in, um Nollywood better and stronger. Must be very strong if you're in the government sector now and you still remember to come back yeah. and do your this is home for you, yeah, right? This is family for this me, is family. yeah. We're good to have you back. Thank you. You look lovely. Oh, I'm blushing. Well, it's Telvino, Telvino? yeah. My um, hair is from DV, okay. makeup is by Kiro Savanas. You're an artist as well. I try, <laughs> works beautiful. Thank you. you. Tell me about your experience in this movie. Well, it's quite a <laughs> wow, like, it was an amazing experience, you know, um, first of its kind, you know, but yeah, it was awesome, you know, I thank God for it, I just went ahead to celebrate it, you know, the premiere and all, you know, so yeah, it was quite good. Tell me a bit about your character. Okay, my character, right, um, Solonzo, he's uh, like a selfless person, right, who cares more about people than himself, you know, which now led him into, like, let's say, Lion's Den. You know, where he has to like, play uh, the role of a kidnapper and from there there was more twist to the whole story and everything. It wasn't what he expected. It wasn't it was more than what he bargained for, you know, at the end of the day. So but yeah at the end um, he lost some. And he won some, you know. But yeah. Yeah. So while you guys were filming and Nkiru got kidnapped, what did you feel at that point when you heard the story? I was part of the story. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I felt terrible, you know, uh, everything happened. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, a, a pleasant thing to talk yeah. about, like, you know, the, or the experience. It, was, it wasn't a nice one, you know, but yeah, I thank God everyone, everyone came out safe. I think she was safe, you know, and when she came out, we all still went back and still shot the movie as well, you know, so yeah. Which even makes today a bigger deal, you know, considering what happened while you guys were filming. And regardless, we're here again today. Yeah. More amazing people have come out to see Inkira's movie and we're going to talk to them on the red carpet. Prime TV, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Let's meet you, please. I'm Ado Bionye, publisher, editor, niche magazine. And you, sir? No, I'm so Onye, an actor. How are you? Elijah Onye, CEO, editor, niche. So I imagine you guys are being fans of Inkira Savannah. Yes, yes, yes. We'll be following her up from movie to politics to here. So we've been on her good book so that's why she brought us up here so what do you know about this movie we're coming here to see it we're coming here to pay credence to the screen diva she's won so many carved the night for herself and we are here to let her know that we're proud of her okay. so it's going to be wild wow i'm sure, I'm mm -hmm. sure. none said the actor were you in this movie well i've not seen the movie so what are your expectations well i'm here to see the surprise Knowing Nkiru as a fantastic actress, what do you think she's going to do in production? I know it's going to be wonderful. I'm sure you guys will not be disappointed. So much support, so much love for Nkiru Savannah today. Yet another amazing actress who has come out to give her love and support. Chika Ike, ever delectable. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Your smile. You always have it on. It's one of your best accessories. How do you keep it? I 
just stay happy. That's how I keep my smile. I know, right? I genuinely stay happy. Yeah. I'm a happy girl. That's the way to go. Way to go. You look stunning. You. I love your dress, your, your accessories, everything. Tell me all about it. Well, I'm just wearing the simple dress I got off the rack in LA when I, while I went um, schooling okay. for my um, team school. Right. I'm sure you heard about it. Yes, I did. Yes. And How'd that go? Very well, thank you. It went really well. I'm very happy about it. Did you go to train as a better actress or producer, director? A producer and director. And I just produced my first movie. <gasps> yeah, it's amazing. Yep. All right, let's talk about the outfit. Um, your accessories. Tell me about it. Um, I'm just wearing this from Fancy Nancy Collection. That's my store. And this is Jimmy Choo. And I'm wearing a very simple sandal. So wait, yeah. you have an accessory store. You're an actress. Yep. You went to school to be a producer, director. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm very serious. Yeah. How many things you want to do? Everything. Everything. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah. It's good to explore all that you can. Right? Yes. Yeah. So the voice. What do you know about this movie? I've not really seen it. I've seen the trailer, and I think it's amazing already. So I'm looking forward to watching it. Yep. So expectations. Very well. I'm just. I'm looking forward to an exciting movie. I'm looking forward to an amazing movie. Mm -hmm. Kira Sivani is a fantastic actress. Right. So all the best. All right. Yeah. Great. Tell me about your store. I'm interested. The Fancy Nancy collection, I do accessories, I do shoes, I do bags, I do everything fabulous. Everything fabulous. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a fabulous chick. Yeah. Okay. Where to go? How are you, sweet? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I am very well. Even better now that you're with me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? You flatter me. <laughs> I love your smile. It's very cute. Thank you. Cute. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the movie, The Voice, what do you know about it? Um, I know the title, which is The Voice. I know it's about her being kidnapped a while ago and I know it might be a horror movie. I'm saying might because I'm not too sure. Yeah. So yeah, so far so good and you know, we're gonna see it now. Mm -hmm. At least see bits of it. Okay. So I think afterwards I would know more about it. Yeah. I'm gonna see you afterwards. Yes, yeah. you will. In Kira, as an actress, what do you think? Um, the few movies I've seen her in, it's always like, you know, her being in tears and things yeah. like that. So I'm looking forward to seeing her doing something outside what people know no, her for, right. so to speak. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, you know, and she's a great actress. So yeah, we're looking, and this is her first production as well. Exactly. So that's something exciting that I'm looking forward yeah. to. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. I love your outfit. Simple and classy. I try. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, this is, I don't know what to say about it. It's just a normal, you know, fabric that you know the designers put together mm -hmm. and um, the designer is um, I think House of Raya okay. that's his name okay. and yeah so I made it you know with my so this is Nigerian this is Nigerian oh my god this is Nigerian Beautiful. and um, I decided to go earringless mm -hmm. just to you know put a bit of what's the word to it know, so I to know, speak you know, you're always in earrings every single day and then and my hair looks nice I think <laughs> It does look nice. You're the girl. You're the girl. You're quite a stylist. Thank you. Great Thank job. You. Very simple, but it works. I, I like try. it. I like yeah. it. Less, is more. Less is more. Less is more. Less is more. 